I just got here, man. This fool is in the f***ing wrong. He tried to come up on him like he's not doing shit. He's waiting for me to get back from the store, right? When I come back, instead of him just... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Speak up for your black friend, white man. Yeah, because we need y'all. We be needing y'all because they always think we up to no good. And some of us do, but not all of us. Like, come on now. The Marcus probably was just chilling. What the nigga name is, but he probably was just chilling. Apologizing to a right. Yeah, that's another thing, too. Like... <laughs> I try to watch my words like when I'm aggravated and I'm at that point, we like, yo, bro, yo, bro. I try to calm down because when you, after the fifth bro, you sound ignorant. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yo, bro, I ain't even doing nothing wrong, bro. We was chilling, bro. And then bro just came and then bro, I'm, I'm lost in, I'm lost in your statement. Only thing I can remember is bro. What up, what up, what up, YouTube? What up, what up, what up, YouTube? You clicked the title, you read the page. Some racist cop bugging out. How you saying racial slurs knowing it's 2024? We got cameras everywhere. Everything is a camera. We're cameras. We're walking cameras. It's like, it's cameras everywhere. I don't even know how dudes be committing crimes. Like, how y'all out there committing crimes with all these cameras? Never understood that. Now, listen, um, you're on the road to 4,000 subscribers. Depending on what channel I put this on, it could be 6,000 subscribers. Now, isn't it crazy that I don't got 10,000 subscribers on not near another channel? You're probably thinking, now, why the hell this girl got two channels? Always got to have plan B. <laughs> Never know. All right, so subscribe for the vibe. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling great. Let's get to it. And I hope his ass got um fired because you know how they do. Suspended. Nah, -uh, he racist. Get him out of here. Will you quit moving? Stop cussing at me. This is Officer Ashlyn Plough, and she just punched this black woman in the face. What's worse is that... Hold up. Now hold up. Just give me a minute now. Quit twisting, quit turning. Would you quit Stop cussing at me. This is Officer Ashlyn Plough, and she... That just pissed me off. That just pissed me off. I need a drink. You know what? I'm gonna shut up. I know what you think. TT, shut up. I know. I don't know what be wrong with me. I know y'all my friends. Y'all the only ones I be talking to. I swear, I don't like nobody. She just punched this black woman in the face. What's worse is that this is a pattern for her, and she's well known to use excessive force on people of color. Up to this point, she and her department have gone... And you know what get me so mad? Because they always do it when you're in handcuffs. They always beat you up in your handcuffs. They'll never beat you up when you head with yours. You got a shadow box unpunished but there are countless cases of racist officers who forget they're being recorded like when a cop repeatedly shouts slurs at an innocent black man For being but first let's look at a cop who did something so racist it got him fined one hundred thousand dollars and fired from the police force entirely hey i'm black out here that's what the issue is yeah the incident happened in san diego when he approached amari johnson for not Diego. Shout out to my Diego niggas. Smoking in a non-smoking area. The only problem, Johnson didn't have a lighter, cigarette, or vape on him. Even if he was smoking, do you think that warranted this treatment? Get the off me, bro. What the you got me for, bro? I already told you just coming straight. You look goofy as hell, bro. Stop touching me, bro. Obviously, yeah, nobody's going nowhere. Smack hey, hey, hey. What'd I tell you? Sit I told down. you I was waiting for somebody to come here. Okay. They right here, bro. Sit down. Oh, oh, my God. You're tough as up. Hey, you tough as Stop. Hey, we don't stop. Bro, you got waiting for somebody to come here? That just pissed me off. They right here, bro. Oh my god, you're tough as Hey, you tough as Stop. Hey, we don't stop. Yo, cops, man. If y'all if I got some some cop subscribers, which I highly doubt, because y'all probably don't like me, because we don't like y'all, and that's fine. But we're all human, you know, and I have I have some cousins that that's the police. I like them as my cousins. Fuck them as cops. But look, I say that to say not all cops are bad, right? So, um, is this something, and be honest with me, and this is for my non-cops too, us, you know what I mean? You think it's something that when they put that uniform on that they just feel like they just can't get touched? And, it, and, and this might sound crazy because if you look at other countries, they have zero respect for law enforcement. Zero. None. Nada. Not even a little bit. Shut up. They'll smack you, all that. We, we, us, we so petrified, but it's only because of how y'all act. Like, we don't respect y'all because we want to. We respect y'all because we're fair. We're fearful. Like, we're scared shitless. So the question is, is it the uniform? Because I feel like the moment y'all take that uniform off, y'all straight butt. <laughs> straight up, y'all butt. So it's like, it got to be the uniform.
Bro, you goofy as hell, bro. Hey, Mr. Dadges, you making a big ass deal out of nothing, Brody? You're the one that you making a big ass deal out of nothing, Brody? Sit down. You, you real big though, huh? Dude, hey, you real big. You're the one that just hey, hey, you real big. Sit down. Hey, you real tough. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I have no reason to be detained by you, bro. Sit down. Bro, stop. Stay seated. Get on the ground. What am I doing? <laughs> Y'all are funny as hell. And then I hate when the others come. Like, he, like, ugh, I hate them. Bro, this is funny as hell, bro. Hey. hey. <laughs> That's hey, fine, dude. At, 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 you've already, put, my, you've already put your hands on me. Bro, I didn't put nothing on you, bro. It's on camera, so you can check okay. me. Bro, y'all okay. hella goofy, bro. I'm talking to you, and you smack me. Bro, nobody smacked you, bro. Why I smack you? You did it? Why I smack you? Sages claims that this treatment was because Johnson slapped his hand away, a moment not clearly caught on his body cam. What the f***, bro? Do y'all know on? what's going on? I just got here, man. This fool is in the wrong he tried to come up on him like he's not doing shit he's waiting for me to get back from the store right when i come back instead of him just uh-huh to uh -huh. speak up for your black friend white man yeah because we need y'all we be needing y'all because they always think we up to no good and some of us do but not all of us like come on now the markers probably were just chilling what the nigga name is, but you probably what you're telling. Apologizing, being like, oh, you're right, I get it. Yeah. He tries to grab him and choke him and put him on the thing. Obviously, the, my friend is gonna put his hands back. This fool's in the wrong, and he could just say that and let it go. And instead, he's trying to, I don't know what the he's trying to do. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, man. Bro, he's being a whole ass bro oh god and you know you're wrong bro this guy would be an awful lot more helpful if he wasn't so aggressive but he's exactly right johnson was simply waiting for him to arrive yeah that's another thing too like <laughs> i try to watch my words like when i'm aggravated and i'm at that point you're like yo bro yo bro i try to calm down because when you after the fifth bro you sound ignorant i know it sounds crazy but just think about it yo bro i ain't even doing nothing wrong bro we was chilling bro and then bro just came and then bro I'm I'm lost in I'm lost in your statement. Only thing I can remember is bro. So try to you know we gotta fix that. Arrive in this spot when he was approached by Dages and was exhibiting no suspicious behavior whatsoever. But in the conversation that followed, he accidentally reveals the true reason for this stop. He looked at my name like 30 minutes ago, bro. Why am I still here? I don't got nothing on me. I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm being a citizen. So you know what I'm saying? That's that's why I'm, I, that's why I'm frustrated. It's not a tell. I'm sitting outside for no reason. You know what I'm saying? You really don't get it though. You don't get it. It's, I understand it's cool. that you're frustrated. I, I feel okay. like I, I understand you're being empathetic. I, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't get it, bro. I already know what it is. Hey, I'm black and out here. That's what the issue is. Yeah. I get it. They just agree. Uh huh. I'm glad we got that on camera. You about to lose your job, and I hope they play with your butt. I hope they play with your butt. Damn. I, can I say that? Y'all can say that, nigga. I can say whatever I want to say. It's my page. Being to this almost seems like a joke. Even if this was a sarcastic comment, it speaks volumes that this is something he feels comfortable joking about. If the cops let it go at this point, all might have been forgiven. Johnson was understanding and the female officer was polite, but they just decides he's not finished and moves in to arrest him. Now listen to me. You're being placed under arrest for 241C, okay? Yep. All right. What's a 241C? What the hell? Assault on a peace officer. Assault on I am screaming. He is arresting this young black man for no reason. This is sick. Oh, on the officer. Hey, okay, bet, bet. Hey, come on. Hey, bro, hey. you are a whole ass. Bro. Hey, oh, hey, God, call, bro. hey, call Jerry. Hey, call Jerry. Hey, Nick, call Jerry. <laughs> you're a, bro, you a straight, bro. Yeah, hey, you except for I, you're the one that hit me. Bro, I didn't hit you, bro. You started grabbing me, bro. I told you to stop touching me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I saw the police officer. You know it's on film, right? It's how far you think? Yeah, that's probably why he was in his phone because he was looking for something. Because nobody says 241. They say assault on an officer. He didn't know. He had to look that up. He was looking for something. I'm just going to go. Hope you don't shoot me in this back of his car or some shit. Because you guys are f corrupt officers. You're for sure a corrupt as f because I'm not supposed to be in the back of the car in the first place. Zages searches Johnson, then sits him in the back of his patrol car before taking him away to be charged. He also allegedly lied on his police report, saying that he observed Johnson smoking and that he took a fighting stance when he was approached. But Johnson wouldn't stand for this and decided to sue the city of La Mesa. Yeah, Johnson, yeah. I love my Johnsons, you feel me? Black people, we the Clarks, Johnsons, um, Johnson, um, James, um, what else? Drop a comment. What else we are?
and Dages himself citing excessive force and wrongful arrest. Around a month into the lawsuit, La Mesa agreed to pay a sum of $125,000 to Johnson. None of this money would come out of Dages' pocket, but he was swiftly fired from the La Mesa Police Department just two years after he joined. Ashlyn Pluff, however, punched a black woman in the face, and her entire police department were just as bad and were all caught clearly on camera. You know, before there was buy cameras, I wonder how many sergeants would just light this thing up, oh, like yeah. empty this tank. Ashland's police department were dispatched to a house party in Toledo, Ohio. Guests at the house weren't causing a disturbance, and they didn't seem violent or rowdy whatsoever. So when the cops decided to move in to arrest them seemingly at random, it raised serious alarm bells. Hey, who lives here? Who's the owner I can talk to? Who lives here? This ain't got nothing to do with us. I'm asking who lives here. You do? Yeah. All right. Arrest him, 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 and them too. Hey, you ain't go in my house. Watch out. Don't touch Watch out. me. Don't touch me. I ain't even doing that for you. It breaks my heart to see what the fuck we gotta go through. And I already know what we gotta go through, right? I'm like, come on now. I ain't stupid, but it's just to, to watch it. So we gotta shine more light. Cause just to watch it, it bothers me. To watch it. Cause it's like, how could you hate somebody that much? It's like, what did we do to y'all? <laughs> I got a comment today talking about we commit the most crimes. Okay, and do you wonder why? <laughs> I'm sorry, we're the we're the we're the poor. We're the poor. <laughs> is the rich gonna is the rich gonna commit a crime? Don't got no money? Rob somebody with some money, bro. Why don't they just get a job? Jobs don't pay enough where we're from. Sorry. They don't. You know why? Cause they wanna keep us broken. They wanna keep us poor. I'm sick of y'all mother. Push me off the poor. Get out of the don't stay back. Don't stay back. Failure to disperse. Failure to disperse, everybody. The cop tells them that they're getting charges of failure to disperse. And in the state of Ohio, this charge can only be given out when the suspect's presence creates a high likelihood of physical harm or public inconvenience. In this scenario, the cop is clearly just looking for a way to get the guests in cuffs. All right, let's just sit you guys in the back of cars. Okay. okay, I'll explain to you. I stood here and I told everybody to go in the house. You didn't tell Listen, me. You didn't are you going to let me explain or are you going to talk sir. over me? I stood here. I told everybody in here, either go in the house or, or leave. After I said that, nobody moved. I said you're going to jail if you don't move. Nobody moved. The precise reason that nobody moved might be difficult for the... Well, why would I have to just go in the house? Like, it's not against the law for me to be on my porch. Like, what's happening here? This cop to comprehend, but it's actually because he never asked anyone to go inside the house. He simply asked who lived there and then started arresting people. It should also be noted that if this call was for public disturbance, the commotion has increased dramatically since the police arrived, and it almost seems like they're the ones that caused it. But if you think the cops are about to stop there, you're dead wrong, as this officer decides to take out his weapon to threaten the residents. Guys, let's go! Time to move, let's go! Who else wants to know? Oh, this is the most insane thing we've ever reacted to. This officer just pulled out his gun just to intimidate people, to take telling them to go in. That is crazy. That is... Ooh. Go to jail, because you're about to go. 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 Why don't you listen and just go home? I don't have patience. People go to jail when I'm around. You know, before there was body cameras... No, not, not, not people. Black people go to jail when you're around. I wonder how many stars would just light this thing up, like oh, yeah. empty this tank. <laughs> These snarky remarks from the cop are frankly terrifying as he's essentially admitting he'd open fire on everyone here if he had the opportunity. He's drunk on power and he's not the only one. Ashlyn Pluff is also on the scene doing exactly the same thing, only her story ends in an even more violent manner. You're not walking back up to that house, turn back around! I don't care! No! No! You can't go back to that house. I don't care what you do. You're going to jail. I live there. So, and the moment he walk off, you're trespassing somewhere else. What's happening? What's on my lip? No, I don't. But what's happening? Go! I can take your ass to jail. I don't give a. Failure to disperse. Get the out now. Go! 
tensions are clearly extremely high right now. However, what makes the following footage even crazier is that the girl we're about to meet is professional boxer O'Shea Jones, an Olympic-level athlete who should be respected and admired for her talents, but instead... Fire, that's dope. That's dope and sexy. Hey, O'Shea. How you doing? I'm single and, um, I don't know if you, like, you know, if you into that, if you swing that way, but, you know what I mean? We could, we could just, I could take you out. You know what I mean? Let me know. She was assaulted, plain and simple. Back up! Go! I'm asking Go! for his back! Go! Now! I'm asking for his I back! Her. Back up! I'm asking for his back! Okay, give me your phone! Give me your phone! Nope. I'm not even here. You can't do that to her phone! Back the f up! What is wrong with y'all? You can't do that to her phone! Back up! Okay, give me her phone! No. Okay, that's her phone, so yes. you gotta keep it. Right, I'm gonna get my phone. No, you're not giving your phone to anyone. I'm breaking my wrist. I'm then gonna... stop moving! Hey, you're angry. Hey, Calm hey. down. You angry. Stop she's twisting. angry. All I'm saying is she's squeezing my hand for no reason. Turning. Turning. Will you quit f***ing moving? Your stop f***ing cussing at me. She just hit me. Y'all just see her. I'm not. She just hit me. I'm not. We seen it. We seen a baby girl. We seen that shit. We seen that shit. Punk ass cops. And then, you know, so, you know, it's funny, you know, this whole, like, they trying to get rid of, like, teaching slavery in the schools because they feel like, oh, it poisons the kids' minds. I'm out in school and look at this. I ain't in school. Look, this done poisoned, just poisoned the shit out of my mind. I'm a grown-ass woman. Look at this. Unacceptable. Please, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Please, 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 I asked for your badge number. Oh, mine? You were talking about mine? It's 355. There's no way to justify this attack. O'Shea was surrounded all, by officers. All she did was turn around and ask the question. She said, why? Like, stop touching. Like, or tell her, like, yo, you being aggressive. You gonna snuff her? That shit is crazy. And restrained. And Ashlyn... And you know what makes me mad? Because she a professional boxer. She would have whipped Karen ass. Karen would have got it. Something serious. Punched her for no reason other than anger and hatred. However, unlike the officer from before, it seems that Ashlyn had completely failed to consider the fact that every cop here was equipped with a body cam, and she was in plain view of all of them. But in a tragic twist of fate, prosecutors found this use of force to be justified. They posit that O'Shea was resisting arrest, and the punch was a compliance technique. Instead, she was verbally reprimanded for her use of Are you serious? They played in our face. They played in our face something serious. The profanity in the incident, but received no criminal charges. But there's no better example of racism than yelling racial slurs at a suspect, and that's what Officer Tim Garcia was caught doing. That just pissed me off. That lady was not resisting in the rest. She literally just said, why? Like, cause she, first of all, she got arrested for no reason. Like, she was walking, like... Oh. On July 14th, 2018. The suspect, Dwayne Robinson, was allegedly getting aggressive and confrontational with mall patrons using vulgar language and threatening them. After Robinson was asked to leave, he complied, but the guards continued to follow him and eventually detained him. They were like, you understand? I said, look, man, I, look, I went like that. I said, look. Y'all already told me what it was. I was like, I'm already walking up. Okay. So I, I tried to go back that way. I was like, I thought there was an exit. And they grabbed my bag. I said, look, man, don't grab my bag like that. Yeah. All they had to tell me was like, look, sir, there's not an exit over here. Yeah. And it was like, all right, we want you to exit the mall. I was like, look, man, I'm not about to exit the mall, bro. I said, look, I want the cops to come here to let y'all know the dumb yeah. y'all doing. Yeah. But look, I ain't even did nothing. To recap, Robinson has basically said that he was confused why security asked him to leave, but he complied until they started to get physical with him. He then asked them to alert police to try and work everything out. But as it turns out, this would be a huge mistake. The cop would soon Yeah, you should know better than to have the police come in our favor. I, w I don't think I would have pulled that move, which I would have did. Soon turn out to be not just rude, but derogatory and insulting. Now, my, my question to you is... If they, they tell you to leave the ball, you gonna leave the ball? No, I don't want to. That's why okay, I'm well, I understand you don't want to, but if they tell you, are you gonna leave the ball? I'm asking for what? Okay. They don't have to tell you. If they don't want you here, you're not here. Okay? What? That's discrimination. Tell me why you want me out this mall. What is what and these cops 
Yo, cops, yo, y'all be dumb. <laughs> First of all, you think about it, cops, if you look at what, like, the education level for cops, like, they don't require much. They don't require much. So they be dumb. So y'all don't even know the laws that they done put in y'all heads. Like, y'all know nothing. Y'all know nothing. That's why he had to look at his phone to see the other cop. Y'all know y'all dumb. Okay, here's the deal. Now you're going to get argumentative with me. They won't put you in jail. I'll put you in jail. So, we cool on that? Yeah. Okay, cool. You have your ID? Let me just get your information. I'm going to get their information. All right, and then so, we'll all right, be up. y'all take my information. But, like, they talking about they want to give me for criminal trespassing. Yeah, they might give you a criminal trespass. Look, I ain't even did. Why y'all give me criminal trespassing? What? They can't. They what you can't mean, bro? Uh, what you mean they can't? Sure. No, hold up. What you mean no, they can't? No, can? okay, here's the deal. I'm going to ask you to do no, something. I'm going to tell you, then I'm going to make you. Let me go, bro. Go ahead and let me go, bro. Go ahead and let me go, bro. Stop tensing up. Yes, you are. You know what? Now you're under arrest. For what? You was under, you was arresting him and then beat them when you grabbed him. What are you even grabbing him for? This young man is just asking questions like he called y'all. Like we can't even call y'all. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Why is he, and then look how he's grabbing him by the neck. Oh my God, to my black people. We got to, sometimes I know it sucks that we just got to comply. Because then they get more aggressive. You know they they feel like they're just... Sit down. Now you're under arrest for criminal trespass. After Robinson allegedly refused to hand over his ID, the cops decided to arrest him. At this point, they have decent reason for this. Robinson did refuse to leave the property when asked. And if Garcia is to be believed, he even took up an aggressive stance when he was asked to hand over his ID. But that's not the important part. That comes when Robinson is on the ground, cuffed, and held. Yeah, but you also got to understand, if I go to a mall and somebody just tells me to leave, that could be discrimination. Like, what are you tell? Are you, why are you just picking on me? Why do I just have to leave? Like that, I don't know. I mean, me personally, I would have just left and I would have dealt with it. I probably would have added, put it on TikTok. Like, oh, look, they're telling me to leave the mall probably because I'm gay. Who knows? Because I'm going to assume discrimination. And then I would have just took it up that way. I'm be honest with you. Or Instagram, whatever. But sometimes we just got to, you know what I mean? Helpless as the cops start to become more blunt and abusive. You say, look, give me your ID, so I'm about to give it to you. Grab but you did, no, no, no. Yeah. You took it back. What do you mean, bro? You it's all on camera. Fast, bro. I didn't dude, do dude. nothing. Dude, look how old I am. You think I act back? I listened to all your stupid for like five minutes. Look, bro, and I said, you said, I said, look, I said, look, before I give y'all my ID, can y'all tell me, like, why would I get a criminal trespass? And I told you. They, if you're not shopping here, they don't well, want I, you. All right, look, and they didn't even tell me I don't even have criminal trespass. You do now. Now you're going to jail. You're tensing up like that. This is fool, you had my arm, bro. No, I'm not your fool. I'm nothing like look, that. Look, bro, all, 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 all I did was ask a question. Right, and we asked you for your ID, and you refused to give it to us. And, and look, I said, look, can y'all tell me? All right, can y'all get some? I'm about to give you Disturbing the peace. Disturbing the peace. Yeah, and this is peaceful. It was. You don't want to give us your arms. Man, that's we bull have bull bull That's just the way it goes. The way you were raised is bull. Tell me how I'm raised. I'm telling bull you bull how you're raised. Well, you got me. Bull yeah, you are. Up. Police officers are supposed to do nothing other than protect the public and de-escalate tense situations. But it seems that Garcia has absolutely no concern for his image whatsoever, as he decides to take it up a notch by using slurs and acting blatantly racist. You up, man. You hey, here, here, look. This is the police. Man, this is the police. Man, you. Man, you. Man, How do you like that? Man, police said, look, said it right back to you. you. <laughs> and this is another thing, too, right? How come every other profession has to be professional? Like, my, I can't go to my doctor and she just tell me, fuck me. Like, what? You might mess with my mental. What you mean? So how come a police officer can say, fuck you? How come? It could be kids around. How come? How come? It's like, how come they're not? I just don't get it. It's like, and then you got the America just allowed them just to just get away with stupid shit. I, I, obviously yeah. I don't. On camera, I'll say it. Do I look yeah, like I, your I, I, Well, I'm only 3.4% African. What's wrong with, I thought you were I'm 3.4% Sub-Saharan yeah, African. I said There you go. Say it right. Put an R at the end. Right, if you're going to say it, don't, don't call me Uh, I ain't not only did the cop just say all of that completely unapologetically, he did it all right after acknowledging that he's happy to do it on camera just to prove a point. But he wasn't done yet. Why am I doing this? For, what? for being what? up. Look, y'all trying to speak. Oh, man. Yeah, and look, you see, how the, you see how the security guard looking like, damn, we probably should have never been yeah, now the cops is being assholes because they would do the same thing to y'all. Stupid. 
I'm just trying to get it right. I'm trying to get it right. That way. Everything was going good. We had a you and I had a good rapport. Yes, we did. Y'all, y'all, y'all talk about kids. Your life. I think you. I think you your life up. I'm gonna do that. I think you will. The verbal abuse should have been far more than enough, but once the cops got outside and close to their patrol cars, they decided it was also time to throw some physical abuse into the mix too, completely unwarranted. What are you doing? Stop. I'm trying to take your shoes off. Just stop. Quit acting like Why are you trying to take my shoes off? Because I have to search you. All you have to do is behave. Why can't you just behave, dude? Dude, you keep tensing up, you keep getting it. There you go. This is the first time I've ever seen them search like this. Like, you telling me you gotta search me, but you got me, I'm I'm in handcuffs. Why are you taking off my shoes? What could I possibly grab for? I'm trying to understand. Let me see. That's not science. That's like not that's not that science, right? That's not impossible. If you Because we gotta make sure you ain't got nothing in there. If you think it's unusual that the cops are taking Robinson's shoes off, you'd be completely right. He's being. I knew I wasn't bugging, cause I'm like, huh? Arrested for trespassing, not a drug charge, not a weapons charge, and nothing dangerous whatsoever. Especially when you realize that the cops didn't even search his shoes and forced him to walk on a hot pavement in the middle of July barefoot. Hey, bro, can you stop harassing me? Dude, this all would have been over if you would have just handed me your ID. You had you pulled it out of your wallet. You were fixing it, fixing to hand it to me, and then you pulled it back. And you just didn't want to cooperate, man. You had it. You were there. All you had to do is give me your ID. We're gonna get you up. We're gonna stand up. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, look, man. Where? I bet you they didn't get fired because it was justified. Watch, watch some bullshit like that. Watch. Robinson was brought back to jail on charges of trespassing and resisting. But it's what happened to the officers after the event that was so interesting and gives us a clear window into the corrupt insides of a police department. An investigation was of course launched into Garcia, and Garcia's sergeant wrote that he thought a written reprimand would be the appropriate punishment. According to him, Garcia didn't use the word in a racist manner or direct. First of all, you're not supposed to use the word at all. That's one. And secondly, why did you have to take his shoes off? You violated right there. Then you made him walk on a hot... I'm done. Than anyone. He simply repeated the word back to Robinson. Two lieutenants also reviewed the incident, and they concurred with the recommendation of a letter of reprimand. Thankfully, though, the deputy chief saw the footage and believed that the banter, escalation, and use of profanity was extremely unprofessional and forwarded the incident to internal affairs for a formal investigation. Eventually, the video made its way to the San Antonio police chief, who recommended an indefinite suspension for Garcia. He said it was by no means reprimandable conduct. This whole thing was as wrong as it can be. In a last-ditch effort to defend himself, Garcia topped all his actions off with a final derogatory and insulting statement, claiming that all he did was use a similar language as a means of communicating his point, repeating his language back in order to speak a vernacular he would understand. In January of 2019, Garcia was in what a dummy definitely suspended from his role with the San Antonio Police Department. That was. All I'm saying, she's squeezing my